Hey guys, Frank Curzio here, reporting from the CES. Having a great time here. Uh, I wanted to touch base with you because I'm in the smart city section. Now, when I first came to the CES, first couple of years, I've been coming here for eight years, there was really nothing about smart cities. The last three years, we really started covering this trend. So this, and I'm gonna give you guys a little perspective of what's going on here, because it's really cool. So there was just a few companies that were presenting here, and they were in the Sands Expo. Now it's the Westgate, which is located by the convention center, and there must be 100 companies here talking about smart cities. So it's pretty cool to see the development in this and being in those trends early, and that's what I'm doing here to find the next biggest trends, but I wanna to talk to you a little bit more about uh, smart cities. So come follow me. We'll take a little walk around here. You can see I have my backpack on. We have battery packs in here, water. It's uh, probably walking 10 miles a day. It's pretty crazy. This is just one very small section of the whole conference. Now, why is Smart City such a big deal? And why is it getting so much attention now? It's because of 5G. So 5G makes everything much, much faster. You get to analyze data much faster. So you're seeing a lot of software companies, a lot of hardware companies, a lot of infrastructure companies. But most of these companies here are private. One of the companies we recommend is called iTron. Not that I'm telling you to buy it now. We're doing very well in that, in that position. We bought it a couple of years ago. But iTron is a software and hardware company that manages all this data. Uh, they're able to have a whole infrastructure set up where they're managing all the cities and everything that they're doing. So you're looking at New York, Chicago, London, Singapore. They're creating these smart cities. Why would they do that for? Because it saves them tons of money, but more important, which is the big theme within every single trend here, is they get to track you. You're gonna have cameras on every building. They're gonna know exactly where you are at all times. All this, and a lot of this has to do with connected cards that they're gonna be talking to each other within the smart cities and all this data that's gonna come up. Remember, when you have a computer, a computer doesn't know everything, you have to teach it. So these companies are teaching the computers, putting all that data in one place, a lot of it's gonna be useless, but now they get to analyze the data and track the patterns, track the behaviors, also track how they could lower traffic, uh, when to dim the street lamps, because they're not seeing too much traffic on the streets, and these things over a long period of time, not even a long period of time, maybe a year or two, save these companies a ton of money. iTron went public, which is very, very good for them. Why? Because if you're looking at these private companies, and come take a walk. If you're looking at a lot of these private companies, when you're looking at, at what do these companies trade at, usually at four times, five times EBITDA, maybe a little bit higher if you're looking at technology companies. But when you're a publicly traded company, the average company's trading at 17 times earnings. You have a much bigger market cap, and you could use your stock is currency to purchase a lot of these companies. And that's what iTron's been doing, and that's how I got familiar with them, because they had Silver Springs that we had in their portfolio, and they bought out Silver Springs, and then that's when I really knew who iTron was. iTron is actually not on this floor, which is cool. They're in a much bigger section, because it's becoming a much bigger company. We're gonna cover that. I'm gonna try to interview the CEO or interview someone within that company. Uh, they're by the Venetian on the other side of Vegas. So we're gonna cover that tomorrow. But for now, I mean, man, this is pretty insane of how big this section, in, this section is of smart cities and how many companies are here. There's probably at least 200 companies here. It's just really cool to see because we've been in this trend for a while and now it's one of the most talked about trends. So again, my job is to find what's gonna be talked about two years, three years from now, and that's how we can find the best stock picks. I'll report back to you guys soon.